It's the last Tuesday of the month, and by now you all know what that means. Today, we are going to be taking a look at some of the rumors and speculating on what is still to come for Star Wars heading into 2025. It's that time already. The August wave is pretty much on our doorsteps. We've even seen leaks for October, including the first images of the UCS Jubbers Sal Barge, which is rumored to come out later this year. And if you do want to see the images as they come out, definitely join the Discord because we're having some great conversations over there about future sets. But today we're gonna to be speculating on all the different rumors that have come out and debunking a few of them because right now, a lot of people are listing what sets they would like and it's really 50-50 if there's any material behind these speculative rumors. First off, I'd like to talk about the rumor that I predicted a Plo Koon Delta and an Arc 117. I wanted these to be in one set. They've done it a lot with the Imperial TIE Interceptor X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. There was also Shin Hati Starfighter and the E-Wing. Usually these come with about five-ish minifigures as far as my memory serves me. So we could get Plo Koon, we could get two pilots for the Arc 170 and two Lime Green clones. Because if you weren't aware, Plo doesn't fight with his Wolfpack on Kato Nimoidia. I can't remember what material I saw this in, but that came out before Clone Wars and makes sense that they wouldn't have him with his now popular Wolfpack Troopers. So I'd love to get two Lime Green clones, though I think loads of people would prefer to get a Wolfie and Wolfpack Trooper. But personally, I'd love to get some Lime Green clones from Kato Nimoidia. There's an argument with Plo's Delta, if it is going to be Plo's Delta or if it's going to be Ahsoka's Delta. And even with that, we don't know if it's a Delta or an Eto. If you would like a Plo's Delta and don't want to wait till next year, I have my own model, which by becoming a Brick Tier member, you can find instructions for a Plo Koon Delta styled after my minifigure scale, 1 to 45 scale Kenobi's Delta, which is really cool. They both look great together. And I've also got a version up for Anakin Skywalker as well. If you want an army of Deltas, they're going to look amazing on display. Even if we do get a set with Plo Koon's Delta, I'll be revisiting it and making a set based on just the pieces in that box. Plo's Delta is going to come with Plo's Droid. I really hope it comes with Plo's Droid. It'd be a bit odd if they left it out, but that will be Plo Koon, a droid, and perhaps a clone trooper. Well, with the Arc 170, because of the size of the model, I'm hoping it will be more around that 40, 50 pound price mark, just to get it a bit more sizable and size up to how it is shown in Revenge of the Sith. This should mean it comes with at least four minifigures. I don't think Lego are going to get carried away and add five minifigures. And that's another two clone troopers. Though I would also like a battle pack for either these lime green clones or the wolf pack. We really don't know what Lego are going to put in. Next year isn't only the anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, but it's also the anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. And it's been a few years since we last got a Yoda minifigure. With the brand new eyes that they're giving to all the Ahsoka minifigures, Recently, we've seen them with Ezra, an older Ezra. I doubt they'd add them to a younger Ezra minifigure, and I think I've worked out the pattern for these new eyes. All the Sith have them, the Dark Sith. I don't think Dooku would have them. We're looking at Anakin if we get an Anakin minifigure for Revenge of the Sith next year, which I think would look really, really cool with the Sith eyes. Looks a bit funny with Palpatine's head, but I think if you just gave him the Sith eyes, they would look pretty awesome. So we've got all the sort of hardcore Sith, if you will, the ones that have really channeled their anger, not only bled their lightsaber crystals, but also bled their eyes. And I think on the opposite side of this coin, Lego are giving the brighter colored, the blue color, the whichever color their eyes are really, to the more purer of characters. Now, I didn't say that this theory was flawless. This is just my speculation because Hera does also have these color eyes. I think they also included them in the Old Republic Jedi as well. But that furthers my point that these are light side characters with pure of heart. Now, Kenobi isn't going to have them eyes because original trilogy he gives out. Perhaps a young Kenobi, a Revenge of the Sith Kenobi could have these eyes. So we could see a battle of Mustafar playset with Kenobi with bright colored eyes, Anakin with bright colored eyes, 
yeah, maybe that's going to look a bit weird. But it does work out for the most part, and this brings me to Yoda. Not only is he one of the strongest Jedi we know, I mean, even when Kenobi gives up and says, this boy is our last hope, Yoda's like, there is another. So he's definitely going to have some sort of coloured eyes. His eye colour does change between movies. Dependent on the lighting, it's either a yellowy amber or a more hazel. Now, as you saw in the thumbnail, I tried the yellow eyes, they, they look like Sith eyes. There is no chance Lego are going to give Yoda of all people Sith eyes, though I would love a minifigure for that Sith vision of Yoda we see at the end of the Clone Wars. But I think that instead of giving him these dark Sith eyes, Lego are going to do something that every other company does with Grogu, with Yoda, and give him hazel eyes. But I don't know if just slapping a hazel circle on Yoda's eyes would look the best for the character. Yoda's not the only minifigure that I'd really like for Lego to come out with a new version of because we also see Ben Kenobi or Obi-Wan Kenobi as the very first Force Ghost in Empire Strikes Back. Now, this has been done by a few customs for quite some years now, so it is nothing new even if you haven't seen it before. But I think this is the way to go. Perhaps they can add a bit more of that blue glow to the actual minifigure design itself. I'm surprised no one's tried it with any of the trans blue bricks. So I'll have a few images flashing up on screen of what this could look like for Force Ghost because I think this is the way forward and finally Lego can make some Force Ghost elements similar to the Vision minifigure we've seen over in Marvel. I don't want this video to go on too long because I've been posting quite a few long videos recently. So I think it's time to wrap it up by talking about Lego Star Wars helmets. So recently there's been another surge in Lego fans for these helmets, especially with a few Star Wars models popping up on Rebrickable. There's also a few Marvel ones with Deadpool and Wolverine coming out and a few of the other X-Men 97 cast and crew. And I don't think LEGO are ever going to bring back helmets. They had their run. There's rumoured to be a, I think it was like a Bo-Katan helmet and a Django Fett, something like that. But that is purely based on something that someone's put out on the internet. No credibility whatsoever. So perhaps in a year's time, you can sit there with both sets built on your display, look at this video and just laugh because it turned out to be true. But I really think this is more of a fan desire than any sort of speculation. If you do want to talk more about the leaks rather than just our speculation, definitely consider joining the Discord because we talk about leaks over there, we talk about different rumours, we even just talk more speculation outside this video. So I hope to see some of you over on the Discord, but that is all for today. Check out the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.